It is a popular show on Netflix. Murder Mountain is about a remote area of California where hundreds of people disappear without a trace every year. Many people say it's too far-fetched to be true. So our Jim Murray headed out to Murder Mountain to find out. This scenic stretch of Northern California wilderness is where 60% of marijuana is grown in the United States. Experts tell us it's not the climate or the soil that draws farmers here, it's the isolation. Authorities tell us there are thousands of farms all around us. And there's another startling statistic. Humboldt County also has the highest rate of missing person cases in the state. Ground zero for danger is this place known as Murder Mountain. That's where I'm headed. Cell service is out, so I have no cell service. If anything were to happen to us right now, we're out of luck. Let's gear up here, then we'll get in our caravan formation. Cops say Murder Mountain is filled with illegal pot growers living off the grid. Sheriff's office search warrants. Some arm themselves against unwelcome visitors, as depicted in the documentary Murder Mountain, streaming on Netflix. This grower says it's like the Wild West. I've been kidnapped, kicked down a flight of stairs, hunted ruthlessly through town. Soon I come across pot growers willing to talk as long as we don't name them. Is it dangerous? Yes, if you're not a local. And do you know of people who've gone missing or have been murdered in this area? I know multiple people Our have. not to answer that question. While we were checking out this burnt out shell of a motorhome on the side of the road, a woman drove up who said she was a local whose brother was murdered here two years ago. She said authorities were no help at all, but she wouldn't go on camera because she has four children and she says she's worried for their safety. On this bridge, there are other reminders of people who have died on Murder Mountain. Garrett Rodriguez, a surfer from San Diego, was working on a pot farm on Murder Mountain. He went missing. His body was later found in a shallow grave. His dad, Buzz. Uh, I told him, stay as far away from that as you possibly can. Retired Sheriff Mike Downey. We commonly get calls, dozens of calls, from people all over the country wondering where their son or daughter or loved one is. The last they heard, they were going to work on a farm in Humboldt County. This is a recipe for disaster, isn't it? If somebody comes here to work in this industry, they're taking their life in their hands. Marijuana is a very greed-driven industry that uh, uh, promotes violence. The Sheriff's Department says the documentary unfairly portrays authorities as not doing enough to solve Garrett's case and others. The deputies work very hard every day uh, to, to uh, uh, solve these types of cases, but we really hit a rock wall in some of these areas that are so secluded. They won't talk to you, they don't want you there. We have deep respect for the Sheriff's Department. There is a high preponderance of violence, but I would say the Sheriff's Office, local and state police, are, are, are really trying to get a rein on it. According to these folks, think twice before heading here. How would you describe Murder Mountain to the rest of the world? It ain't no joke, it ain't a playground.